how are we? My name is Corin and I am the golfing princess. So I'm here today, it's a very windy day and I'm at Crook Hill Park in Doncaster and I'm going to do a little challenge for you today which was a shout out by Carl Needham um, probably about a month ago, six weeks ago. So he did a little challenge where he took a left-handed club and he did a hole, what well, just did one hole with a left-handed club because he's a right-handed player. So did a shout out for a few of us to do the same thing and see what happens. So here I am today, I've managed to bag myself a left-handed pitching wedge from the clubhouse and I'm going to play one hole just with the left-handed pitching wedge. Now, I can't put a hole 15 which is normally a par 4. Now we're on temporary tees and we're on temporary greens because it's a bit soggy and it's a bit blech. So I've been told it's about 120 yards from the tee box to the green. So it's normally par four, and I think 120 yards from par four is a bit, well, even by my standard, it's a bit wrong. So I'm gonna pass it as a par three for today's exercise and uh, see how we get on. Now, I'm still gonna give myself two shots, which I would normally get this hole because I'm not gonna completely give myself no chance at all. <laughs> so this is gonna be quite interesting for me, this, this, hot, this challenge, because I'm a right-hander at writing and golfing, etc. But I hold my knife and fork in my left hand like a lefty. Not both at the same time, you know what I mean? I eat my dinner like a left-handed person will eat the dinner, but I do everything else like a right-handed. Excuse that word. So it'd be quite interesting actually. I wonder if I can hit the ball any better with a left-handed club. That'd be interesting. I have to go out and buy a whole new set of clubs that's left-handed. I doubt it, but let's give it a go and see how we get on. I've been given these balls, by the way. They're um, they're really Bridgestone balls, but look, this is lady, Alan. I'm a lady. Well, I think we can all agree that was an utter, utter pile of poo. So, what have we learned? 
Uh, we've learned that I'm clearly not a left-handed golfer. I might still carry on eating my dinner with my, my left hand, but I ain't doing it with a golf club. Um, what else have we learned? Don't come out when it's really windy. Uh, don't come out when it's really muddy because the ball just plugs into the mud and you just end up hacking it further into the mud unless that's just because I'm hitting a left-handed club and I can't do it. I don't know. Um, what else have we learnt? Stay in bed. That's like this, stay in bed. Just don't do it. As much as your instinct tells you, go out and play golf. Don't do it. It's, it's evil. And um, thanks Carl Needham for, for the shout out for doing this challenge. I think we can clearly say that, that, it's, that it's, it wasn't for me. <laughs> Tried it, failed it. But I'm going to have a go again when it's not as crappy weather. I'm going to have a go again when it's drier and when it's less windy. Not that the wind really affected my swing. <laughs> I can't blame the wind for that. That was just terrible. Um, but I mean, I, I'm, they've said I can keep hold of this, this left-handed club. So maybe they'll go put the driving range in it and see if I can practice how I'm supposed to. Never mind, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that because that's cheating. That's cheating. I'll just come out when it's drier again and I'll have another go at that and um, we'll see how we get on. One of the guys in the club, Adam, said he's going to try and find out a, a left-handed 7-iron because that was a pitching wedge. Again, I ain't going to make a blind bit of difference because I can't hit the bloody club. But I shall use every excuse in the book that I can as to why I didn't hit it and why I failed the challenge. But you know what? The positives of this, of this vlog is one, I had a go. I didn't think, you know, I can't do that, so I'm not going to. I had to go at it. There's no such thing as can't. Well, there is, because I, cause I couldn't. <laughs> no, the point is, don't ever say you can't do something without trying it first. So I've come out and I've had a go, and you know, it, it didn't work. But that's part of what my channel is about. It's about keeping it real. And you'll know yourselves. You go out on the golf course and it doesn't always work. It, you don't always hit the great shots. You don't always get the par. You don't always get the birdies. You know, you don't always in some instances get a triple bogey and it even gets worse than that. But keep it real. Take the, you know, take the rough of the smooth. And if it happens to be caught on camera, don't think I'm going to edit that out because why? People want to see when it goes bad. People want to see that you, you are a, a human being and you are, you are, you know, keeping it real and that's what it's all about. But the top and bottom of it is I came off and I've had a laugh doing something that I don't normally do and I, I can't do but I've had a laugh trying and I've had a laugh trying to hack the mud and I had a laugh, I think at some point I got globs of mud on my face. This sun's really bright. So I'm going to, uh, while I can still see you, there we go, go back a bit, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have enjoyed the little challenge. I know it didn't quite go to plan, but do you know what? It is what it is. And as I say, you take, take the rough with the smooth. Uh, but keep on playing, keep on hitting them shots, good and bad. Keep on learning, keep on improving. And I'll see you next time. See you later.